We're almost halfway through decade 202, with it being 2025 soon. It's now time to evaluate all of the major construction projects we finished over decade 201 and 202. Every five years it needs to happen so that we can stay caught up with the changes here in Utah. Through decade 198 we worked hard on Interstate 215 so that people can go far enough around the city to get to where they're going. Whichever link was done first we don't know about it or we'd be able to tell you. However, we only know the last number of links that have been done at this point. Sometime in 1987, the west links of I-215 from 21st South Expressway and Salt Lake Davis County line got done. After that, the section between Union Park Boulevard and Highland Boulevard got done. Sometime in 1989, the section between Highland Boulevard and 62nd South Avenue got done. The last link between 62nd South Avenue and 45th South Avenue got done late in 1989. After that got done, people were happy to have a way to go far enough around the city from Parley's Junction all the way to the halfway point in Salt Lake County. More use of I-215 on the west side happened when Interstate 80 between Interstate 15 and Redwood Road was being repaved for most of 1990. That part of Interstate 80 had been getting a whole lot of use mostly for people going to and from Salt Lake City International Airport, and that meant they needed to repave the whole road with concrete just to ensure that it'll last a long enough time for all of us. Late in 1986 was when the new access road to the airport got finished. That made it easier to get to and from the airport from all directions and for a link with Interstate 80 and the 21st South Expressway. The airport had grown and so North Temple Avenue couldn't be a public road anymore and had to be diverted to Interstate 80 to be able to continue any further west than 24th West Street. The airport road was called West Valley Boulevard way back then too, but until 1990, West Valley Boulevard used to stop at 21st South Expressway. With more of Salt Lake County growing westward, it pretty much called for another thoroughfare, and that was when West Valley Boulevard had to get extended through the county all the way to Bluffdale. A new name for the thoroughfare couldn't get chosen until 1993 because it hadn't gone any further south than 47th South Avenue. Eventually, a name was picked out after the former governor, Norman Bangeter, to make sure it had a definite name to describe how it would go all the way across Salt Lake County. It took pretty much all of decade 199 to build the thoroughfare through the county, but because time was too tight to be able to make it into a full expressway, all they could do back then was build it up to being signalized intersections all the way. Time was very tight because the 20th century was almost over and the Olympics were going to be coming to Salt Lake County in 2002. However, each point you see marked on this chart tells us when each link got done and how you can easily see it. 21st South Expressway to 24th South Avenue got done in mid-1990. 24th South Avenue, 27th South Avenue at the end of 1990, 27th South Avenue to 31st South Avenue in mid-1991, 31st South Avenue to 35th South Avenue at the end of 1991, 35th South Avenue to 41st South Avenue in mid-1992, 41st South Avenue to 47th South Avenue at the end of 1992, 47th South Avenue to 54th South Avenue in mid-1993, 54th South Avenue to 62nd South Avenue at the end of 1993, 62nd South Avenue to 70th South Avenue in mid-1994, 70th South Avenue to 78th South Avenue at the end of 1994, 78th South Avenue to 90th South Avenue in mid-1995, 90th South Avenue to 98th South Avenue at the end of 1995, 98th South Avenue to South Jordan Parkway in mid-1996, South Jordan Parkway to San Juan Avenue, now 114th South Avenue at the end of 1996, 114th South Avenue to 126th South Avenue in mid-1997, 118th South Avenue never intersected with Bangator Expressway because there's no room for one, 126th South Avenue to Wills Avenue, now 134th South Avenue at the end of 1997, 134th South Avenue to 27th West Street in mid-1998, 27th West Street to Redwood Road late in 1998, and Redwood Road to Interstate 15 in mid-1999. The extension of the road is just the usual drive-through Draper up to Mount Olympus. 
when the thoroughfare was finished in mid-1999, there was a ceremony and the celebration for the opening of Salt Lake County's new thoroughfare that would go through the new west side addition to it. It was great just to get to have a new across town all the way to the airport and then further west on Interstate 80 just like everybody planned. During Decade 200, we had a lot of work to do in southern Utah right around St. George. That part of Utah was already due for some upgrades so that it would be easier to get across town and such. During that time, Salt Lake County had been growing new neighborhoods going further west and soon it was going to be time to add another thoroughfare. It could have been Highland Boulevard, but not enough of Draper had grown back then. During Decade 201, more of Salt Lake County had grown west of 40th West Street, and then it was time for another thoroughfare. This one would go right by Bluffdale and Harriman, and go parallel to 56 West Street. It would make an even better way to get across Salt Lake County. There was no name that was suitable for it back then, and so they decided to call it Mountain View Corridor. They called it that because it showed us the view of the Wasatch Mountain Range from the, the west side. Mountain View Corridor would have two parts to it where one would go through Salt Lake County like an alternate route for Interstate 15 and one would go through Saratoga Springs to Cory B. Wright Parkway like it would take a shortcut from Utah County to Interstate 80 until Mountain View Quarter can go right under Antelope Island and by Promontory Point it won't get renamed alternate route Interstate 15 due to false representation laws. The same thing is true with the other part of Saratoga Springs for the alternative route Interstate 80. Decade 201 was when they were due to convert those signalized intersections on Bangor Expressway into interchanges. This was because the traffic on that road had gotten a higher amount of traffic and the conversion just couldn't wait any longer. How long it's been taking seems tremendous because they had to work on Mountain View Quarter at the same time. This has made both projects take over a decade just to work on. The converted intersections to interchanges happened in this certain order. First was Redwood Road, second was 78 South Avenue, third was 70th South Avenue, fourth was 54 South Avenue, fifth was 90th South Avenue, and then some others were done according to partners. 126 South Avenue, San Juan Avenue now 114th South Avenue, South Jordan Parkway and 62nd South Avenue. The ones that'll soon be finished will be at 27th West Street, 134th South Avenue, 98th South Avenue, and 47th South Avenue. The houses that were blocking the way for these new interchanges were airlifted out with a helicopter from Hill Air Force Base called the XY-131B, and then it placed into West Jordan's new neighborhood just west of South Valley Regional Airport. The owners of those houses agreed to pay off their loan to Hill Air Force Base to have that all done. They couldn't agree on demolition because that would have wasted a whole lot of good wood and deplete the forest, which is why they requested their homes to be airlifted out of their current area and and into West Jordan, west of South Valley Regional Airport. With everything finished between 41st South Avenue and Interstate 15 and Draper, Bangor Expressway seems to have become a real freeway just like all the rest, and now the last conversions are going to be done at 41st South Avenue, 35th South Avenue, 27th South Avenue, and California Avenue. Those ones will be converted in interchanges. The intersections at 31st South Avenue, 24th South Avenue, and 1820 South Avenue are only going to be underpasses just like 118th South Avenue because there's not enough room for those to have interchanges. 31st South Avenue, however, will have the light rail route on it going all the way west to Magna, which will link more of the rail routes across Salt Lake County. Why the intersection interchange conversions on Bangor Expressway through West Valley City and Rosewood, which is Salt Lake City's industrial neighborhood, won't get done until 2028 is because there's still some other things they have to get done too. They've already finished the intersection interchange project on US 89 through Northern Davis County, which is Clearfield, and it couldn't wait. They just recently finished the West Davis Corridor from Centerville all the way to the Syracuse neighborhood. Someday after that, they're going to build another thoroughfare from Syracuse all the way to Salt Lake City International Airport. It's going to be Wright Brothers Parkway. There's already some of it done in the North Point neighborhood of Salt Lake City, Utah. It's supposed to connect 
drive to the West Davis Corridor and help people to get directly to the airport from West Davis County and West Weber County. We can't rely on Interstate 15 for that all the time. Legacy Parkway had to get done for that purpose too back in decade 201. Some other construction projects have to get done before 2028 too. Salt Lake County's light rail has to get more connections done to it. 31st South Avenue will hold most of the northern part of Salt Lake County along with North Temple Avenue. From Magna, the light rail will follow the Bingham Mountain front all the way to Copperton. It'll be built right over the old mining railroad line that used to be there. It's also going to follow the railroad line that goes through West Valley City and Kearns and West Jordan just west of South Valley Regional Airport. It'll connect with the Jordan link of the light rail and so will the route from Copperton there following 102nd South Avenue. One link goes from the main light rail line up through Salt Lake City's Hidden Hollow District and will eventually reach Parley's Junction. Eventually, the Jordan Link will go all the way through Daybreak to the main line whenever it gets done through Utah County. In fact, the main line in Salt Lake County and Utah County are someday going to be the same one. They have the plans for it that we need to finish before the end of the decade. Utah County, where the old Rio Grande Western Railroad track went through, is where it's going to be converted into a light rail just like the part in Salt Lake County was. Davis County is at some point going to have the light rail too, and it's going to follow this route. In Weber County, it's going to follow this route. Mountain View Quarter is nearing finished, and we've got to get that done very soon. With it going all the way through, it's going to become a full freeway soon, and that's another thing they have to get finished by 2028 also. Highland Boulevard has to get finished too. The thoroughfare that currently goes through Cottonwood has to go through Draper too. It has to all be one from Interstate 215 to Interstate 15 and Draper in order to be a 100% thoroughfare on Salt Lake County's east side. Some small projects they have to do in Salt Lake County are some interchanges on Van Winkle Expressway as follows. 9th East Street, 13th East Street, 56 South Avenue, Highland Drive Vine Avenue, 62nd South Avenue but overpass only, 64 South Avenue but overpass only. There's going to be some on 21st South Expressway too as follows, Salt Air Parkway, 92nd West Street, 84th West Street, 80th West Street, and 72nd West Street. There's going to be some new bike trails and one of them is going to replace the old railroad track that goes from the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad Highway through West Salt Lake. It's going to make some changes in the following places. 7th West Street, 9th West Street, Bothwell Street, 17th South Avenue, Redwood Road, 1455 South, Redwood Road at 900 South Avenue, California Avenue, and Indiana Avenue. There's also going to be some other road connections we're going to do as follows. 5th West Street over 6th South Avenue exit ramp, 23rd East Street in Highland connecting all the way from 13th South Avenue to Holiday Boulevard, 14th East Street between Downington Avenue and Westminster Avenue, 17th East Street between Logan Avenue and Emerson Avenue, Parley's Junction Adjustment, 21st North Avenue to Wright Brothers Parkway, Wright Brothers Parkway Extension going north, 3rd West Street fully intersecting with 39th South Avenue and this part of West Jordan. Some railroad crossings on the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad Highway are going to be converted to overpasses too as follows. 5th North Avenue overpass, 4th North Avenue overpass, 3rd North Avenue overpass, 2nd North Avenue overpass, 6th West Street overpass, 8th West Street underpass, 9th West Street overpass, 10th West Street overpass, 2nd South Avenue underpass, 8th South Avenue underpass, 9th South Avenue underpass, 17th South Avenue overpass, and 5th West Street overpass right by 33rd South Avenue. Salt Lake County and its surrounding counties are surely getting to look more like Los Angeles and its surrounding counties too. You could say that Salt Lake County has been looking more like Los Angeles every year, and I think it is too. This means that Salt Lake County and Los Angeles and the San Francisco Bay Area are practically sister metropolitans. As soon as more of what we talked about here in this clip gets finished, we're going to make another clip about it, but maybe closer to the end of decade 202 in 2009. Thank you.